Turn off red LED. Yes, Chando. Red LED is off now. Turn on yellow LED. Yes, sir. Yellow LED on now. Off yellow LED. This is me Chandu and welcome back to the another brand new tutorial. So in this one you're going to make one awesome project. So in this project we're going to discuss about how can you control one LED using your voice command and you also add the Google Assistant. You can control it from your smartphone. So without any further delay, so let's get started. So in order to complete this project, you need some requirement. First, you need to want Note MCU. I'm using the Note MCU version number ESP8266, and you need two LEDs. So I'm going to use the red and the yellow LED, and some jump wire, breadboard, and also one USB cable. So you can actually upload the code from your laptop to Note MCU. So now let's see how can we actually connect them and how the circuit diagram actually look like. So this is a simple circuit diagram that you need to do while you are connecting the Note MCU and also the LED. So you can see here this is one Note MCU and I'm going to connect the red and the yellow LED. This is so simple and also you can see here one USB cable. So using this USB cable you're going to actually connect here and upload the code from our laptop, right? So this is the red LED and you can see here this is the positive port and you're going to connect them on the Note MCU D1 pin. And you can see here on the note MCU there should be two grounds. So this one and also this one, right? So we're going to connect the ground one to the uh, note MCU ground. And for the ULU, that's same. The positive one is connected on the note MCU D2 pin. And the negative one, that's mean this one is ground pin. So connect on the ground. You can also connect them on here. That's not a problem. And after that, you can actually connect your note MCU via your laptop. Then you are going to upload the code. And also you see that how can you control them using our Google system. So now let's see how can we do that. So without any further delay, so let's start the main part. So as you can see here, this is the circuit connection and it's so easy to actually make that. So first you can see here this is the red LED and red LED, the white wire is connected on the D1 pin on the node MCU if you see D1 pin, right? And the blue one that's with this the ground one is connected on the ground right on the note mcu ground right yep and the uh the yellow or the led is connected on d2 right so d2 is on here so d2 that's with the black one right and uh the uh, ground one that's with the uh green one is connected on the ground on the note mcu so this is the simple connection you can actually make that and now it's time to actually uh, do the coding part and also the how can we connect it in our google assistant so right now you can see here we are in google and now i'm going to search for adafruit.io okay adafruit.io okay so you can see here first link is actually appear here welcome to adafruit.io and just click on here and while you are actually creating the account on the adafruit.io so make sure that using the same email that you are using on your mobile phone while you are actually controlling them using your google assistant that's mean your google assistant email and your adafruit.io mail must be same so you can see here the internet of things for eb1 so this is the uh this is the uh, official website for the adafruit.io so if I go down, you can see here there's some pricing limit. Okay, you can see here you can actually get their premium as a ten dollar per month, and you can also get started. And there are some roles that you need to follow. First one, you can create the five group limit. You can create five group here, and ten feet is the limit here. So I'm going to click at the sign of the account. You know I'm so poor, so that's why I'm using the free one. And you need to pass here. You you need to fill here your first name last name email and the username and the password okay and after that verify your mail with the adafruit.io then sign up here okay and create one dashboard so now let's sign up here
so all right so my adafruit.io account is created you can also check your account setting and you can also do some changes you can change your account name your username and your also the password so now i'm going to click here to io to create one new dashboard okay so our io is open and i'm going to click here to create the new dashboard and you need to pass here your dashboard name so let's say knowledge doctor okay let's say select this one knowledge doctor iot project and let's pass here one description let's say iot okay iot project by let's say knowledge doctor right and just click here to create the account okay and you can see here our dashboard is created and just click on here to open the dashboard okay so our dashboard is right now opened so if i click here you can see here edit the layout so right now we don't actually actually see any layout here but later on when you actually create the block then you actually see the layout so i'm going to click it to create new block here and you're going to use the toggle block because you're going to actually on and off the led so that's why actually using the toggle button okay okay so this is called the fit so in our free account we have 10 feet limit but if you're using the ten dollar actually using the premier one you need to pay here ten dollar so this should be unlimited okay so now i'm going to create some uh, fit okay so we have two components that's mean led one and the led two so for that i'm going to create some blocks so let's say led let's say this one for led number one create that okay and our block is uh, right now added this, this is not called the block this is called a fit okay and led number zero so make sure that you actually remember this fit okay because when you actually go to the arduino id part that's been coding part then you actually understand this uh, actually you need to actually understand what is the led number zero one and what is the led number zero two and also you need to remember that okay create here so now what i can do i'm going to select this one and create here the next step and you can see here you can add the block title this is optional you can add or not and button one text you can actually pass here one for on and off for zero okay same it is this is for the test below 45 is all as it is same you can see here you can actually use in zero one zero one okay and create the block so you can see here our block is right now created you can also edit the layout this is called the layout you can also drag and drop you can also edit them okay and just click it to save the layout so now what you can do we are going to create another block because we have two components just led one and led two just click here okay and next step and actually comment uh remove this line and pass here the one and for the off text you're going to pass here zero you can also pass here button on below use on text if blank if it's blank you can actually pass here the text no problem that's not my case so i'm going to click here to create the block okay so this is for led number one and this is for led number two you can also edit the layout okay you can see here we edit the layout here okay you can click here to save the layout and you can also on and off here okay you can also test it out from here that our led is on and off by actually clicking on this button okay so our adafruit work is right now done so now what you can do we are going to actually upload the code so for uploading the code where can you go we are going to click it to my key and you can see here uh, you can actually get here your username and also one active key so what you need to do you need to actually copy this active key and also your username then you are going to actually upload the code okay so now let's see how can you actually upload the code on our node mcu and how can you actually use in this key and also how can you install some external library here to actually uploading the code and also connect the Adafruit IO on our node MCU. So this is the code you need to actually upload on your ESP8266, that means your node MCU, and also make sure that you have also connected your node MCU, that means ESP8266 model on your laptop as a USB port, okay? And you can see here in my case is connected on the COM number five, you can see here COM number five. And now what you can do, you need to actually paste here your username that you actually copied on your adafruit.io website and also you need to paste here your aio key that's been your active key okay and now let's see we need to also install some library 
So you can see you find the other port mqtt.h. So this is the library that you need to actually install. But in my case, it's already installed. But I'm going to show that how you can actually install in this library on your Arduino ID. Okay. So for that, you need to go on your Google and you need to search for ADA for MQTT library. And first link is actually appear here. Just click on here and it will open one GitHub link. And what you need to do, you need to just click at a code and download add a zip. Okay. So it will all actually installing this. That's been actually downloading this zip file from here. So how you actually download the uh, zip file from here, get a link at the Ford MQTT library and you need to also installing this at a Ford MQTT library on your Arduino ID. So now let's see how we can actually include the library on our Arduino ID. So in order to include the library here, you need to click here on the sketch and you can see here one include library and add zip library. Okay. And just select here your file you can see here on my file it's on the download and you can see a two file because i already downloaded this uh, mqtt library before so that's why it's say one so when you click it to open because it's already installed in my system and we're going to actually install that but if i click here to open that and you can see i've done something and also you can see here one message that's a library name and therefore mqtt library master already exists that's mean it already exists on my system so for that if you have already installed so it's code but if you don't have so make sure that you download the uh, zip file from the google at the github link and get to sketch and include library and dot zip at the library and open that and you did installing this library on your system okay so now our second step is done so now what you can do we are going to actually pass here our username and our io key so io key is nothing but our active key that you actually copy before So I passed here my username and also my active key. And also you need to actually change here the fit one that we actually uh, talking about while actually creating the Adafruit IO dashboard. So I need to pass here LED number zero one and also this one for LED number zero two. Okay. So now what you can do, we are going to upload the code and you can see here my node MC is connected ESP 12 e module. Okay. And also this is my com port you can see a com number five and now i'm going to click here to upload the code and make sure that your node mc is connected on your uh laptop via your usb 2.0 cable okay so so i'm going to actually uh pause the video while actually uploading the code so right now you can see here our code is uploaded 23 percent done 30 percent done okay Okay, so our code upload is right now done. So now what you can do, we are going to see that how can you actually connect the or node MC to our LED and also how can you actually control them on our adafo.io. Okay. So now you can see here this is our dashboard and this is our circuited. So if I on that the first one, you can see here our red LED is on, right? If I select the this one. For the uh, yellow one and you can see here our yellow LED is on. You can control it from your adafruit.i, right? It's so simple, right? On and off. Now we're going to see that how can you connect them on the Google system, right? So you see that how can you actually upload the code on our node MC using our Arduino LED. And also we see that how can you actually controlling this LED from our adafruit.io dashboard. So now what you can do, you are going to actually control the LED from our own smartphone using the Google Assistant. So to actually do that, you need to go on the Google and search for IFTT. Okay. And you can see your first link is actually appeared here. Just click here to IFTT. Okay. And click here to get started and make sure that you are signing with the same Gmail that you are using on the adafo.io and also your Google Assistant. So I'm going to use the Google. So that's why I continue with Google and select your email. And it will open the dashboard. You can see I start connecting your world IFTTTT. And I'm going to create here. Click here to create. And you can see here you are using zero of five applet. That's mean you can create 
the five applied here so if this just click it to add so we are going to add them on our google assistant so that's why i'm going to searching for the google assistant here you can see here there is so many so many templates so i'm going to search here the services let's say google assistant okay we have the google assistant just click here to google assistant so we're going to first uh click here this one say a simple phrase because we're going to say that uh let's say uh, turn on led one or turn on red led or turn on green led or the turn or ULA led okay just click here to say a simple phrase that's the first one and connect them so make sure that you selected the same gmail again and again say that because it's so important so make sure that you select the same gmail account that you're actually using here okay so our uh login is done and now what you can do you can see complete the trigger field uh say a simple phrase so let's say what do you want to say that's mean what do you want to say that uh that's the uh, turn on led one or turn on red led so let's say turn red led on okay so what's the another way to say it that's mean you can say it in another way let's say turn okay so turn on red led add another one you can also add here another one let's say on red led okay so what do you want to want the assistant to say it response so while he actually give you any response so what should be the response so let's say eh sir red led is on now okay so make sure that you select the english language you can select france german okay i am actually compatible in english so click here to create the ticker so our create ticker is done this means our actual applet is created this means first applet is created so now what you can do we are going to click it to add one so now we are going to actually adding with google assistant to adafort.io that's been actually controlling that ticker one okay so click it to adafort.io so send data to adafort.io just click on here connect that so just go down and click get to authorize so it actually authorized here and you can see complete action fill and now if i click here you can see here we have two feed that we are creating before on the adafruit.io just click here to led number zero one data to save so turn led on that's when we are going to pass here one because how you actually uh, give here adafruit.io trigger number one that's when this is on condition so this is the this for the on condition that's behind to say the turn on led that means red led that's mean red led should be on so create here to create the action and click here to continue okay so if you say turn red led on then send data to the led 01 feed so led 01 feed that's mean while you actually uploading the code on our node and view you, you you see here uh a feed led 01 that's mean when you say the turn led 01 it will actually on the led so now what you can do we are going to click here to receive the notification when the applet is run and also click get to finish so we need to also create the another applet okay another applet for actually um of them okay so maybe letter one so now i'm going to click it to create and click it to add search for google assistant click it to say a simple phrase and let's say now it's called tron red led off okay or let's say off uh, red led or say let's say turn off red led okay so what uh, do you want to uh, want the assistant to say the response to as a response we said that let's say uh yes chandu let's say my name chandu red led 
is off now and click here to create the trigger okay right this one and also click it to add them and just click here to add a for here and send data to the adafort.io select the led01 and passed here zero why zero because you're going to actually make it off so just click it to action and click here to continue click here this one and click here to finish okay so our uh you can see a turn uh, red led off then send data to the led01 fit and this is connected right now so do the same thing for the yellow LED. You are actually using the LED, yellow LED or the green LED. It's up to you. So when you click it to create uh, the another one. all right so our all applet is right now done so if i click it to my applet and you can see here you all applet okay so if i say tron yulu led off and it should be the off and you can see if you say the tron yulu led on then send data to the led number zd2 fit and it will on the led number two that's mean your yulu led and this is the same you can also using your uh, you you actually using the relay to actually controlling the light or the fan and there is a, some limit for actually to using the free account on the ifttt so you can also use just use the five group that's been five applet you can create if you get a pro to get the 20 applet so you need to pay here okay so now it's time to actually testing that our code is actually working here perfectly or not so as you can see here, I am actually opening my Google Assistant and make sure that you log in the same Gmail that you are using while creating the Adafruit account, right? So now I'm going to test it out that it actually working fine or not. Turn on red LED. Yes, sir. Red LED is on now. Okay, so you can see here red LED is right now on. So now let's try to off that. Turn off red LED. Yes, Chando, red LED is off now. So now let's try it for the Yulu LED one. Turn on Yulu LED. Yes, sir. Yellow LED in on now. So right now you can see here Yulu LED is on. So now let's try to off that. Off Yulu LED. Let me check. Yes, I'm here. Okay, you can see here uh, this is give me correct, wrong, correct answer uh, because of the bias. So let's try it again. Off Yulu LED. Chando, yellow LED is off now. Okay, so right now you can see here our yellow LED is off now. So this is the tutorial. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and make sure to subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon for never miss any update. And we'll be back with another tutorial. So till then, take care and bye bye.